In this video tutorial, we're going to be taking a look at the Magic Mask utility. It's a neat little utility here in the Designer's Toolkit, and it's going to add some additional functionality to some of the things you'll, you'll already find on the internet. So let me show you a neat little trick here. I'm just going to come into my Custom Shape tool, and I'm going to draw out a shape, and then I'm going to come over to my Effects palette, and I have a section that I call Stuff from the Web, and there is a link to this script that you can download in the description. But it's called Scatter Things, and as I open it up, um, I can define the number of copies I want, and it says Size Variation. Um, we'll just leave it at 50, and the Angle Variation at 90 is fine. And go ahead and click OK, and watch what it does. It just kind of creates a random five different shapes. So I'm going to come over to my Layers palette, and just to kind of help differentiate the shapes a little bit, I'm just going to change the color of a couple of them here so we can see things a little bit more clearly as we move our shapes about. That's good. That's probably good enough. And then what we can do is once we've kind of created the scattering of, of shapes here, we can just kind of move things around until we create a pleasing arrangement. And of course, we can resize a shape if we need to, if we one's a little bit too big. But it, it does kind of create an interesting effect that uh, we can use to kind of create a, a very quick uh, collage using all kinds of different shapes. So it's kind of a, a fun little thing to do. So kind of what we did with the Magic Mask utility is we kind of took it to the next level, so to speak. So let's go ahead and create a new layer here and delete that last shape. Let's go into, uh, we have some masks that we created. Um, and so what we're going to do is we're going to pull over two of them. So there's one, there's a second one. And we're just going to drag these masks that we created, just basic black and white files, drag them into our document here. Okay, and then we can um, go about using that scatter things again. So again, what we're going to do is we're going to come back over here and choose scatter things. And let's do three copies of each, a uh, size variation of 30, and an angle variation of 46, whatever you want. And click OK. And let's see what our results are. Let's see here. I'm not sure exactly what it did. Let's try that again. Let's go ahead and we have a layer selected. So try to scatter things again. Three copies. There it goes. Now it's doing something. All right. So you can see what it's done now. It's kind of created the scattering of images. Now uh, we can kind of just start repositioning things a little bit. You can see um, sometimes it doesn't always give you the most pleasing results, but it is kind of an interesting uh, effect that you can create. Just resize some of these image openings, move things about, maybe make this one a little bit smaller. Because you never know quite what you're going to get uh, when you experiment using that scatter things utility. So we'll just kind of reposition things a little bit here. Now this one here, we're just going to go ahead. It's way off the uh, way off the beaten path, so to speak. So maybe what we'll do is just zoom out a little bit, grab it, and move it up. So you can't even see him. There we go. Now we can move it up, and we'll make it a lot smaller. And I am going to just move this up the layer stack here. So that's another nice thing you can do. So right now it doesn't really look like a whole lot. It looks more like a mess than anything. But this is where the Magic Mask will kind of come into play here. So let's go ahead and go back over to our Effects tab. Let's come into the Elements Designer Digitals. And way here at the bottom, we have Magic Masker. So if I just double click on it, we'll let it do its magic, so to speak. And you'll get a better understanding of what's actually happening here once it's all done. So now you can see what it's done is it's taken and it's taken that black and white image. And now we have just the image openings themselves that we can arrange on our page. Now, once we've done this, um, we can come over and choose the 
convert layout option, which will convert each one of our shapes into a frame layer. And now once it's done that, we can come in here and start placing our images inside our image openings. And of course we can resize them to fit. And that is essentially how that works. So in combination with scatter things um, and that create frame layer option, you can create a really interesting collage without a lot of work. So we'll go back in here, come all the way down, and we're just going to add a layer here and fill our background layer. And then we could go about finishing populating our frame layers with image openings. Again, we'll scale it down and we'll rotate it here and reposition it. And just keep going till the whole collage is filled. So I think you're going to have a lot of fun experimenting with that magic masker. And then and the nice thing is there's lots and lots of these black and white masks available on the internet for download. So you just have to download them and experiment with them and experiment with that scatter things um, to see what kind of pleasing results you can get. Thanks for watching.